morning. It's Monday, January 17th, Martin Luther King Day. I have the day off. Thank goodness. Hallelujah. I just um, got out of Starbucks. I woke up this morning, showered, had some breakfast, and I just stopped at Starbucks to get a drink. And now I'm heading off to a manicure appointment that I have at 11. Let's do a taste test. It's good. We're gonna go ahead and give that a nine. Um, I had such the drama with Starbucks yesterday. I went to Orange Theory and I worked out. And then I stopped at Trader Joe's and I decided I was going to go to Starbucks because my intention was to just relax on the couch yesterday, stream something on TV and do some grading and we'll get to that in a second. And so I go to a Starbucks that I rarely go to because it's just not in my neighborhood. I go in to pick up my drink. First things first, it smelled like a swamp in that Starbucks. Like, and everybody was standing in there as if it was not an issue, as if it smelled nice and fresh in there. And it was the most disgusting smell I'd ever smelt to the point where I almost said, you know what? It's okay. I don't want my drink. I, if it's smelling like this in here, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, but I took it and I got in the car and I did my, you know, obligatory taste test and when I tell you it tasted like I was just drinking water that had been browned somehow um, that is not a lie so of course me being the customer that I am I called Starbucks and said I just came from Starbucks this drink and this is the second phone call I've made like this in like a week so they're probably looking at my history like this woman can never be satisfied with her drink but I told him I just left Starbucks. My drink is really bad. I just need to be refunded because I'm going to go to a different Starbucks and just order again. So he was like, okay. So he refunded me and I went to this one, this location because it was on the way back home and got a new drink and it was fine. And then I went home, washed my hair, still saying, I'm going to, you know, wash my hair, <clears throat> get dressed, eat. Um, I decided to start streaming the morning show, which I had started watching last week with Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. And I was like, I'm just going to sit on the couch and like leisurely great. <laughs> and that didn't happen. Um, it also didn't happen Friday night. I think on Friday I said I was going to go home earlier, work out, and then like do some grading. That didn't happen. Uh, I came home and I worked out and I ate dinner and then fell down into like a little TikTok hole for a couple hours and then didn't do any grading. Speaking of TikTok... I'm going to dip my toe into that. I actually posted my first video this morning. Um, I'm a little honestly self-conscious about it because, you know, TikTok has obviously been around for a few years and um, the teaching community has, you know, grown quite a bit over the past couple years. And I know it's, you know, a place where people go for teaching content as well, just like in short form. But I've just always felt like I don't have the personality for TikTok. I feel like people on TikTok are very like, and that, even though I was able to do that for you just now, that is not like my personality. So um, I just decided, you know what? Yes, there are a lot of, I said, big personalities on TikTok, but I'm just going to go over there and I'm just going to be me and I'm going to welcome people that follow me on Instagram as well as you guys to just follow along because you know who I am and not that I'm not excitable, but I, 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 I just don't know that I have that, that TikTok energy. So we're going to see if you want to follow me. It's under the same name, Smarty Style. And I think what I'm going to do, I know I'm going to try something called Monday Minute where I'm just sharing something, obviously, very briefly on Mondays. It could be teaching related. It could be, you know, lifestyle related. It could be organizational related. It's not always going to be teaching based. Um, so I want to definitely do that. And then the other thing I was thinking is like some of the things that I talk about in greater detail and Instagram and YouTube figuring out how to share it in short form on TikTok because as a society I think we've just developed a certain level of like or we've we have developed an inability to attend to information being presented for you know longer than a minute or two and I think there's people that definitely tune into YouTube 
and maybe stories because like me they want like a thorough explanation of something but then there are some people they just want like the gist or an extremely scaled down version of information and that's what TikTok seems to be and I think that's what I'll try and do so I may be talking about something in greater detail on YouTube and then find a way to share that in a very succinct clipped down version in TikTok we'll see so again you can find me over there at Smarty Style and um, so give me a follow help me out I'm feeling a little self-conscious but as far as the rest of the day is concerned I have this manicure at 11 o'clock and after that um, I think I need to stop at Bed Bath & Beyond to get coffee because we're all out and I need it for tomorrow um, so I'm debating if I'm gonna just stop there and get it or order from Amazon and then just make coffee at work tomorrow and I need to call the alarm company because one of the sensors on my windows just spontaneously goes off at any moment and we need to fix that and, and today today I'm gonna great just a little bit um, because I don't want to get far I don't want to get behind I feel like I'm on top of my grading for the most part right now and they are going to be assigned an essay soon and I don't want to have to be wading through stories and essays at the same time so that is the big plan I think it's about 3.15. I've been home for about an hour now. I got my nails done. Let's take a look. I, I really feel like I'm obsessed with these. This just came from, let's see if it'll focus. It came from them. So it's just, it's simple, but I just love it. There's like some sparkle detailing on this hand, same on the other hand, but just on different fingers. At first I was gonna do uh, a matte finish, but the manicurist told me that that nail polish color or the nail this nail polish color looked better not matte and I told her she's the boss and whatever she thinks looks better is what we're gonna do and she was right so I love it I love myself <laughs> and so I finished that and then I went home or I came back out this way and I did go to bed bath and beyond and just got some k-cups to get me through um, and they were on sale, so that was nice. Just finished putting my laundry away and picking up my clothes for tomorrow. Um, this is what I'm wearing tomorrow. Someone on the last vlog said um, that they wanted more information on what I choose to wear to work or like um, the clothes I buy. And I share that every morning on Instagram. So if you wanna hear a little bit more about where things are from, I talk about it over there. That's about the extent of what I do. Now, if you're talking about like, I don't know, me having a video in super great detail about like my personal style or how I shop, I've talked about that a few times in different videos. Um, but one of the other things that I did as I procrastinated with grading stories yesterday is I just said, you know what? Let's just peruse the internet let's go on Ant Hiller Loft and see if anything's happening over there and they were having this massive sale and I dropped some change <laughs> in that sale um, so I have a lot of things coming let me know in the comment section whether or not you'd like me to share what I bought in a separate video just like a little Ant Hiller Loft haul or if you want to just kind of see it pop up in a vlog I have a feeling just given the amount of stuff that I ordered because I also ordered some shoes that I'm going to do a separate video at some point. But um, yeah, and maybe then I can kind of talk a little bit more about like my personal shopping habits or style. Um, so I put my laundry away, picked out my clothes, and then I also just got this in the mail. This was an Amazon order. This came about an hour or so ago. This is, let me put the TV on mute because I feel like it's going to be a distraction. Some of you also asked with last week's vlog or you've sent me a question um, in the comments of Instagram about the spirit days and where they come from. Um, the spirit days are something that I organized with the help of eighth graders last year as well as a parent of a student last year who did leadership at her school. She kind of gave me a list of some of the spirit days they do. And we do have one every Friday that are predetermined 
um, by me and the kids from last year and that parent that helped. And I sent that out to uh, students and staff at the beginning of the school year. So they know what the spirit days are ahead of time. Um, so, and they probably will change very little from year to year so that if kids are investing things like we had an Adidas day or a Nike's day or um, this Friday spirit day, um, that they don't feel like they have to buy something new every year as well as teachers. So I bought that 90s outfit because I know every year we will have a 90s day. So this Friday, right now it's called Laker Day. I just want the name to sound better. So I almost feel like I'm going to make it be titled Mama Mentality Day um, because this is around the time Kobe Bryant died a couple of years ago and I had no... I had one Laker shirt, but I didn't love it. It was just like this cheap shirt I got from Target. So I invested in this jersey from Amazon. I love it. I love the fact that it just says mom on the front. It also has like his, um, what does you call this? I guess like lifespan, born in 1978, died in 2020. It says mama forever. Then on the sleeves, it has his numbers um, here, 24 and eight. And then the years 1996 to 2000, which I believe are the years that he played for the Lakers. And there's nothing on this sleeve. And then on the back, um, it says Bryant and his number. So I got this on Amazon. I will definitely add this to my store in case anyone is interested. I tried it on. It's very comfortable. So that's for this Friday. So that is it. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to eat lunch. One of the green chef meals that I made. I'm going to eat, I think, one of the servings of the shrimp and grits. Uh, the grits, the cauliflower grits were quite tasty, um, as well as the shrimp. And then, and then I'm going to actually read some stories and just watch TV and just force myself to do it. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and end the vlog here for today. There's nothing else really for me to say and I need to focus. So, um, that's all I have to say today on Monday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It is 7.32 and I just got to school probably five minutes ago and I'm just getting myself set up for the day, turning on the computer, whatnots. I'm checking in now because I don't know if we have a PLC during my prep, which would then mean I can't check in with you then. Then of course I'll be teaching and then right after school I have an IEP and then I'm supposed to go to a happy hour after that. So I'm not sure what checking in is going to look like and I also didn't check in yesterday. Yesterday um, was our Monday so we can wrap. We finish up the Martin Luther King discussion and most of them, the last question that they were at, at the last question that they were asked was whether or not they felt like Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream had come true. And most of them were basically saying um, yes and no, like, which is really an appropriate response. Like, yes, we've definitely made progress in the right direction, but no, because there's still, you know, inequities going on um, in the country, around the world, whether it be race related, gender related, um, sexual orientation, like people are not being treated equally or not being treated based on. I ran out of memory on my camera. I think what I was saying is that people are, are still not just being treated based on the content of their character and who they are. So we finished that up and then we read all your twisted secrets. We are almost done almost done um and i had to pause homeroom because i didn't want them to finish the book before uh, my switch class and ruin it for them we'll finish it this week for sure maybe today or tomorrow i'm not really sure which day um and then that was really it and then i went home earlier than usual but later than what i intended to because i got my green chef um shipment today or yesterday and I knew that I wanted to cook all the meals which I did that took a couple of hours that's pretty much how it's gonna go it's a little bit of torture while I'm doing it and so I have to just remind myself it will be worth it in the end because you won't have to cook again for a week and then I was supposed to meet with the parent Taylor and I at five o'clock yesterday evening and that fell through the parent didn't end up joining us and so that's 
disappointing and we're gonna have to try and reschedule that. Um, and then I just cooked, ate, watched TV, like an episode of something, and then I went to bed and woke up to start another day. So um, as far as sub coverage, we didn't have an issue really yesterday. I haven't checked my email today to see if it's an issue. It seems to be better this week. Um, fingers crossed that it stays that way. Um, but yeah, so just good morning. Oh, and I'm wearing my Christmas present, my sweatshirt from my student. Um, it's Wednesday, so I have to wear green. It's a little bit on the cooler side, and after cooking for hours, I didn't really have time to um, <clears throat> curate an outfit, so this was like the perfect thing. So I will be sure to leave the link to this sweatshirt in the description box below. <laughs> so um, I will check in with you guys later. Hello, it is 4.30ish. We're going back in my closet. I feel like I've taken you guys in here quite a bit lately. Um, school went fine. I feel like there was something I was gonna tell you guys. Well, I'll show you what we're doing with the close to read assignment tomorrow, what video I found, and how I'm going to help these kids with the prompt. Um, I don't even remember if I shared the prompt with you. I don't think that I did because I spoke to you before school and by that point I had not like typed up the slide with the prompt and kind of found the resources that I need it um, and I don't even know if I talked to you about the prompt at that time of day because that feels like a lifetime ago but needless to say I'm home I had an IEP I finished that I came home walked Riley I ended up chatting with my neighbor who's also a former core co-worker and also a former not a former friend she's still a friend a friend of mine and now I am in my closet getting my clothes ready for tomorrow before I go to happy hour because I don't like to go to a happy hour and then be stressed about all the things that I need to do um, when I get home. Like I don't, I don't like to feel rushed. And if I don't have these things done, I tend to feel rushed. So I am going to wear this tomorrow, just a little sneak peek. Um, the top is from Target, the pants are from Ann Taylor Loft. And I'm going to pull out my glasses and my other accessories. And then I'm going to iron. Um, and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> because it will be time to go. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm just here to say hello. And goodbye for the day. Today was a little frustrating. like Because we are administering this performance task. Which is like test prep for state testing and in order to administer this performance task you got to go through all these technical hoops and i always forget how to do it and what hoop to go through because i only do it once a year and then that just kind of threw the day off and then you know we recouped but it is what it is tomorrow i know for sure in my leadership class we need to have a little bit of a sit down and a talk because that class just feels very clicky and we need to kind of solve that problem because it's preventing us from working well together so we're going to have another talk tomorrow and i think next week we're going to have to focus on some team building so i'm going to stop there because i need to make sure i get this stuff set up for tomorrow and i'm not late and tomorrow's thursday i will check in with you guys tomorrow good morning just got an email it is 8.45 and I'm on my prep period and I just got another email from a student who's quarantining that wants to know what they've missed. Um, why was I turned? Oh, so today um, I have my leadership class in about 15 minutes and we are going to be having our little fishbowl discussion. Um, and so when they come in, I'm just going to have uh, this question projected on the board and it says, why is this class so clicky? That is a word that I just made up and I'm just going to let it sit there and let them marinate on why that question may be posed. I'm sure they already know. And then we're going to talk things through using the fishbowl discussion, um, which is a strategy I learned when I took a trip to Finland a couple of summers ago. Um, so there's six tips six chairs in total that will be in the middle of the room all the other desks and chairs are moved off to the side there's always going to be one chair that's empty so that at any moment someone can join the conversation but you can only speak if you're inhabiting one of the chairs in the middle of the room and everybody else is just surrounding 
those chairs and listening. Um, so if they want to speak, they have to get into one of the chairs. If someone sits in the free chair, then someone that was already seated has to get up so that that person has an opportunity. And then while these discussions and people are sharing their perspectives is going on, everybody is listening respectfully and just reminding them that, you know, if someone says something that you don't necessarily agree with and we talk it through, there comes a point where you just have to kind of agree to disagree. So we're going to talk about that and see how that goes. And um, I'm really thinking about after this to kind of mitigate some of the issue, assigning seats in the selective class. The seats are not assigned right now. They're able to sit wherever they want. Um, and assigning seats just to promote the idea that we need to get out of the habit of just sitting with our friends and talking to our friends only. Um, and then definitely having to make an effort to incorporate a physical team building activity at least once a week in this class, which is something that was a goal of mine and just the year got started and then rallies started happening and I just kind of lost track of that. So we need to get on that and um, in language arts today, that's all that we're going to have time to do because we have library, which means I only have really one hour of teaching with the class. Um, I'm going to, with my homeroom class, review the prompt from Study Sync. I showed both classes a video yesterday and yesterday was one of those situations where you know you teach a lesson in the first class and then by the second class you have like some new ideas or things that you may spontaneously add to it that ends up working well that you didn't do with the first class and that's kind of where we're at with my homeroom class. So the close read prompt that they're going to be asked to answer says pose narrator and this is from the telltale heart. Poe's narrator insists he isn't mad, though his behavior suggests otherwise. Analyze how Poe uses the point of view of this unreliable narrator to create a feeling of horror. What does it show about the importance of character in a horror story or movie? So the reason why I think this prompt might be challenging is because um, I'm not sure that kids understand what really horror technically is, and I think kids and adults even confuse gore with horror and think and think that something has to be gory for it to be considered to be horror. So the video I found yesterday um, in about five minutes or so talks about the three different stages of horror in um, literature. And the first stage is dread, which is really fear of the unknown. Like it's the point in the story where a character knows something's out there, something's a little off, but they don't know exactly what it is. The second stage is uh, dread, no, not dread, sorry, terror, which means at this point, they now know what the scary thing is and now are like living through it. And then horror is the aftermath of the bad thing has happened. Now we're dealing with the consequences of like the evil occurring. And so what I did yesterday in my switch class that I didn't do with my homeroom class is I specifically would pause the video and make sure kids note it, note it those three stages of horror. And then we listened to a telltale heart and I specifically asked them to give me um, text evidence from that story and tell me what stage of horror would that be considered and told them that you need to be able to think things through that way so that when you're responding to this prompt, you're responding accurately to the prompt and not just giving me a description of what happened or telling me why the narrator is crazy or anything like that. And so I felt like that worked well and helped them to kind of understand how they need to be responding to this prompt, but I didn't do that with my homeroom class. So I'm gonna fix that today. So that's the plan there. And um, I'm still in the middle of reading these narratives. It's a long process. Um, I think maybe I'm halfway through with my homeroom class, which is not as far as I would like to be. So I'm gonna continue to work on that for the next 10 minutes that I have. And um, that's about it. That's about it. That's about it teaching wise. So aside from that, I'm supposed to get a part of the shopping extravaganza that I had over the weekend in the mail today, some shoes. And so I might show you that stuff later today. And if not today, probably tomorrow. And um, that's it. So that's how my Thursday is going. We have library. Um, we're gonna have that discussion, my leadership class. So in some ways it's kind of a light day. Like we're just kind of continuing things that we've worked on or having some discussion about things. So shouldn't be too bad. Hi, <laughs> good afternoon. 
it's 3 35 i'm getting ready to go home um let's just focus on leadership really quick and then i'll go home and i will show you my package i think my shoes arrived um but the leadership discussion we started today i think went really well i will finish it or we'll continue it tomorrow because we just didn't have enough time um, i think the feelings that i felt in terms of there being clicks in class were also being felt by the students so we kind of talked through that i'm not going to talk through the details of what they said because you know that's their business um but i think it, it it's a good thing that we're doing and I think it's going to help things. I think there's still some things we need to talk about as a group and we will do that tomorrow. I have quite a few students um, who are in leadership but also in my homeroom class and so I just kind of checked in with them after the fact to see if after having that meeting where students were you know there were some pretty honest moments about how kids were feeling about certain situations so I was checking in to see if they felt like it was awkward afterwards or were there any issues or little side conversations and everyone's like no I think we were fine um and then I asked them if you felt if they felt like we needed to continue the discussion tomorrow and everybody that I asked said yes so we will do that for sure um, um, and then in my classes, they just had a little bit of time to start planning their essay for the Telltale Heart, made sure they understood the video that talks about horror in three stages. Um, did I explain the three stages? I don't, I think I explained the three stages. Stage one, um, according to this video, is dread. When you know something's out there, but you don't know what it is. It's the fear of the unknown. Stage two is terror, where you're actively experiencing the scary thing. And stage three is horror, which is the aftermath of the terrifying event that's occurred. So made sure they understood that, had the notes, made sure Switch had all the uh, tools that I provided, or made sure my homeroom class had all the tools I provided to my Switch class. And then we went to the library and that was it. So um, I'm gonna log out, I'm gonna go home. I'm supposed to have a, a meeting with a parent at five. We rescheduled it. That was the one I was supposed to have earlier in the week. And then I don't have to cook. I also need to walk Riley. Um, and there's something, oh, and then I got to continue to grade the stories. So, um, I will probably see you when I get home. Hello, it's just before 7 p.m. and I'm at home. I got home at, mm, I don't know, probably like four after four. Walked Riley. Yeah, four o'clock. I walked Riley. I came back. It was a little bit after 4.30 and then I had that meeting with the parent at five we were able to meet this time around and it was a positive meeting overall and then i took a peloton class an old 45 minute class with tunde did the ab workout and now i'm here looking at my shoes that came in the mail so this was what motivated me to hurry up and take the peloton class because i was like you can't look at your shoes until you take the class so i'm going to show them to you um and then Say goodbye for the day. So the first two pairs I'm going to show you. These are shoes that I used to have. This I used to have this style of shoes a while ago, and they always came in handy for work. And I just hadn't been able to find another pair that were super comfortable. So I was looking on DSW. I shouldn't have been on the website anyway, but I was there getting my sister a birthday present, and then I was like, let me see if they have these. And so they're just different kinds of booties. So I got a black pair of these booties, and I needed this specific style to go with like dress pants and just kind of a little bit more dressy than the booties that I have because if you've been following me a while and or caring or paying attention I mean I have these um booties I have these but I feel like those tend to go better with like jeans and not dress pants and there are days where I'm wearing dress pants but I don't want to wear flats and I want to wear socks because maybe it's cooler so I got these these are actually from Steve Madden, Madden Girl, just tried them on and they fit. So they have like a pointed toe um, and it they're not super shiny or anything like that. And then I got a pair of brown ones, a different brand. These are from JLo. These are a little bit, um, I've never had anything that has like this like shiny texture. I don't know if it's coming up very well, but they're kind of shiny. Uh, but they're brown. They're higher than the black ones. It's more of a heel feeling when I've tried these on, but comfortable enough. Like, I mean, are they as comfortable as flats? No, um, but comfortable enough. So I think these are going to be keepers. Then the other thing I got was another pair of tennis shoes that I didn't need. 
but I've just really been into like this kind of style of tennis shoes lately, kind of like a retro look. And so I got these from New Balance right here. They are kind of like a cream color with black and then has like this animal print on the back. And I just thought they were really cute, especially when I looked at different ways people styled them. And I feel like these are tennis shoes that I could wear and still feel like stylish, like beyond just, I might look like a teenager in my regular tennis shoes. So I was kind of hoping that I didn't like one of these things so that I could return it and then like get my money back to somehow justify the shopping shenanigans that I went through over the weekend. But turns out I like it all and I'm probably just gonna keep it which is okay because I do have a shopping account. Like I have an account where I put money into it on a regular basis just for the purpose of shopping. But I really wanted to just like build that account up to just have like a good amount of money in there. And um, I'm struggling to get that done. So this is the first round of stuff. The other stuff is just all clothing items from Ann Taylor Loft. And I think that's gonna come sometime next week. But I also wanted to show you, I switched my purse out it's literally the same purse that I've been carrying, but this is the black version of the tote bag from Marc Jacobs. And so when I was switching my purse out um, over the weekend, I went to the closet to get this and I forgot that I had bought this wallet over the summer and had never used it. So let me put you down on this thing here. I've really been trying to just get into smaller wallets because I've been carrying large wallets for a while and I really don't have that much stuff to put in them, especially now that I am down to one credit card that I need to pay off. I don't need a whole lot. So I bought this Tory Burch wallet um, because it looks a lot like the Chanel wallet that I just can't afford. It's small. I had seen it around and it just, I really, really like it and i'd actually gotten this in a few different colors but i didn't like the other ones as much but i really like the black one so it looks like this on the inside let me make sure nothing's showing yeah looks like this on the inside so there's only enough room for about six cards in there which is just fine for me because that's really all i need my debit cards my like one emergency card my license medical card etc then of course you have this section is this it yeah to put dollar bills in. I never have dollar bills because I don't carry cash, but if I did, and then you have this coin change section that again, I rarely use for coin change. Uh, there happens to be some in here right now, which is rare. So I tend to, hold on, I need to, my coins are acting up in there. Um, I tend to just use these for like discount cards or like my punch card to the car wash is in here and I just need to have access to that. So that's usually what I leave it for or gift cards. But every now and then, as in right now, there will be change in there and that's it. So really cute. I think I got it last summer. I don't remember how much it was. I don't even remember if they sell it, but if I can find it, I will try my hardest to put it in the description box, but I'm not really good at that. If I forget, just remind me in the comments and I'll link it for you. But I feel like I also shared these over the summer, but maybe I didn't, I don't know. So that's it. I'm gonna take a shower, go eat, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> it's about 4.10 and I'm home. I got home maybe like 10 minutes or so ago. And I am just so tired. I'm upstairs because I'm getting ready to put on some shorts, some lounge wear, I think, and just sit down for a minute. Like a part of me wants to just get on the Peloton and get that done and over with. And another part of me is just like, you just need a minute to just sit down. So I'm not sure which of those is going to win, but I think I'm gonna sit down which is not gonna be a good idea because once I sit down, it's hard to get back up, especially on a Friday. Uh, in class today, I knew I wasn't gonna vlog because they were just working on their essays and um, for a part of the class time and then we finished All Your Twisted Secrets, which I'm proud of. Like, it took us a while, but we finished and it was fun to just read that book with the kids. Um, and um, on Monday, I'm gonna see if they wanna read another book together knowing that it may take a long time to get it done. And even though it took a long time, they retained the story and they knew what was going on. So I knew I wasn't gonna vlog in the classroom at all. 
um, and I had to just continue to focus on these stories. I'm almost completely done with my homeroom class, which means I'm always at, almost at the halfway mark. Um, and then in leadership, we continued the conversation from yesterday. It sounds like it's still not quite done. So we'll see how that goes on Monday. Um, and yeah, so I really am here just to close the vlog out and for you to see what the jersey looks like on. So today was, this is not the best lighting, but we're making it work. Today was, um, Mama Day, which is Laker Day, because he passed around this time a couple years ago. So again, I got this jersey on Amazon. Let me move my lanyard out of the way. So it just says Mamba on the front, has his number and all that on the back and the sides. I, that didn't that didn't work. The sides there, and um, I just wore it with my yellow band. So students could wear Laker attire, purple and gold, anything Kobe related, and they were good to, good, good to go. So. <laughs> That's how today went. And there was something I was just about to say. And again, I forgot. I forgot. That's how tired I am. So I think with that being said, I just need to go ahead and end the vlog because I obviously am too tired to string a thought together. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram, head over there. Follow me at Smarty Style if you want to support me even more. I did start that TikTok account this week. It is, it is in its fledgling stages, so it's very small. But you're welcome to follow me there as well under the same name, Smarty Style. And as always, I hope that you guys are well. And if you're not well, please be well. And I will see you guys next week. See you then.